You randomly draw a letter of tiles from a bin containing the letters from the word Mississippi. Find the probability of the following event. Then tell whether the events are independent or dependent. Show all work and write your answer as a fraction in lowest terms. You draw an S from the bag and then without replacing it, and that tells us it's going to be dependent. And then you draw another S. So you're drawing S's consecutively. Okay, so we have a dependent event. So the probability of the two events occurring, probability of the first times the probability of the second, assuming the first occurs. So the chance of getting an S. So there are one, two, three, four. There's four S's to start with, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven total outcomes. And then it says you do not replace the first S that's drawn. So instead of having four remaining S's, you have three S's. And since you kept one of the S's, now instead of having eleven total tiles, there are ten. Okay, use the calculator to reduce the fractions. 4 divided by 11 and 3 divided by 10. 6 over 55. This time you draw an I from the bag and then you replace it, which makes it independent. And you draw an S. So probability of A and B is the probability of the first event times the probability of the second event. So the probability of the first event has no effect on the probability of the second event occurring because you replaced the first tile. So how many eyes? We have one, two, three, four. Four eyes. You replace that tile, so we start again with, with 11 total tiles. And now we want to draw an S, and we have four S's. Use the calculator to multiply and reduce the fraction. We get 16 over 121. A bag contains nine red and six green balls. Taking one ball out of the bag and then selecting another. For each event below, show all of your work and write your answer answers a fraction in lowest terms. Find the probability of the following event. <coughs> you first draw a red ball, so that's your first event, and you replace it. Okay, so that makes it independent. And then you draw a green ball. That's your second event. So the chance of having a red, okay, there's nine red, and a total of 15. And the chance of having a green, well, there's six greens, and since you replaced it, you still have 15 remaining balls. I'm going to come off to the side where I have a little more room. And then use a the calculator. Putting the fraction in lowest terms is 6 out of 25. Okay, this time, first ball is red, so if that's your first event, you do not replace it, and that makes it dependent, and the second ball is green. Probability of the first event times the probability of the second event, assuming the first event occurs. So the chance of having a red ball is 9 out of 15. Now you keep that red ball, so instead of having 15 balls left in the bag, you have 14. And the chance of getting a green is 6. Making sure I have the right numbers. So 9 out of 35. Reduced. Part C, final problem from this number. Find the probability of first drawing a green, not replacing it, okay, so dependent, and then going back to choose a green the second time. So we have two events occurring. <coughs> okay, and not replacing it, okay. So that makes it P of A. Okay, so green the first time, well, there's a total of six greens to begin. You keep one of the greens, so instead of having six remaining greens, you have five. And in the bag, instead of having 15 balls like we started with, we now have 14.
one out of seven chance. Okay, so a spinner. You spin the spinner shown two times. Each each section of the spinner is, is the same size. Use the information to answer the question, giving a probability as a percentage and rounding to the nearest tenth of a percent when necessary. What is the probability the spinner stops at one first and the second time two? So this is the first event and here is the second event. So we want the probability of the first event and the second event. And the probability of the second event <coughs> occurring has, uh, the probability of the first event has no effect on the second event occurring. So they are independent events. So how many ones do we have? One, two, three, four. So there's a total of four ones and 12 total sec sectors within the circle. And the number of twos. There's three and a total of 12 sectors. So one twelfth chance of both occurring. What is the probability the spinner stops at the fourth first and the third second? Okay, so the fourth. Again, these are independent events as the first event has no effect on the outcome of the second event. So the chance of having a four. One, two. So we have two out of 12, and a chance of having a three. One, two. So two out of 12, and two out of 12. One out of 36. And what's the probability that the, pin, that the uh, spinner stops at an odd number first, first, and stops at an even number second? Okay. So an odd number. One, two, three, four. So there's the first odd, second, so four. Let's start again. I'm going to start right here. Odds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven odds. And even second. Well, I know that if there's seven odd, it has remaining five evens. Okay, multiply and reduce. Thirty-five over one forty-four. Okay, now to go back up here, it says to round this. Um, see, it says uh, giving probability as a percentage and rounding to the nearest tenth. So let's turn this into a percentage. One divided by 12. Okay, so this would be 8.3%. Yes. One out of 36. 2.8%. Twenty-four point three percent. 